and I'm gonna make two holes in his face. I'm also gonna make a hole in David Feldman's bank account. Mm. Have you been talking to Connor at all? Have you gone to the site just because so far? Have you been talking to himself from the bottom all the way? Have you been talking to him? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we've talked about it already many times before. Even when that all that shit was going on with him being there and after this party, like it's not nothing to talk about. It's dog shit. That's it. He, you know, he. The only reason he was successful in boxing is because of the way you can avoid everybody in boxing. Whenever he fought real fighters in boxing, he got his ass whooped. It's kind of giving you any advice. Yeah, certainly. We always, you know, talk. We always discuss fights. I mean, this is this is what we do. This is our life. So of course, there is a lot of fight talk between us always on a daily basis. Hey, um, I want to ask: When it came to training in MMA and bare knuckle, was there anything different that you know when it came to the proper training? Uh, seeing the fact that your hands are more exposed, was there a different wrestling period? What was the, the whole process? Well, my hands are more exposed. That's for my opponents to worry about. I don't give a fuck about covering up this bad boys. I've never used to wrap my hands. Not in any fights, not when I spar, not when I hit the bag. I don't wrap this bad boys ever. And why would you? Look at these clatters. They don't look pretty, but they sure do a lot of damage. Do you have any favorite boxers currently? Yeah, I really like Lomachenko, of course. You know, he's a he's a good boxer. You know, I love uh, a lot of the Irish boxers. You know, there's uh, guys like uh, Stephen Ormond, you know, John O'Carroll, you know, those guys, uh, Luke Killer, you know, Victor Rabbi, those guys up and coming, but, you know, very, very slick boxers, very good to watch, you know. I saw Connor talk about the Deontay Wilder knockout on Twitter. Did you get a chance to see it? What yeah, I seen it. it. It was impressive. But we, well, we already knew the guy has incredible power. We knew that. I want to see him do that now with the guys, you know, at the top, with, you know, uh, the top guys. That's what we all want to see. So why not do it? Let's fucking do it. Let's go. And I'm sure they themselves want to do it as well. When you're a competitive, uh, you know, boxer, competitive person, you want to compete with the best. You know, you don't want to wonder whether you are the best. You want to find out whether you are the best. And there's only one way to do it. Was there any poly fight that you watched that wasn't present to you? Maybe Miguel Cotto? I don't know. Like I said, you know, I thought maybe he's a, somewhat of a tough guy, but no, he just hides behind the fucking gloves. And now he has no gloves to hide. Mm. Oh, no, he's, he's been known to be a bit durable. I, I think one of the fights he got his jaw broken, he continued to fight with Cotto and stuff like that. So, you know, he, he's shown that. Okay, you know. okay, good. Okay. Well, that, good. That, that's good for you. Yeah. I, 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 I love to see that. I love to see that. I don't want him to just fall over and that's it. It's over. I've been waiting for this for so long. Do you know what I mean? I want it to be a proper generation. Job. Is this a one-off for you in terms of after this you go back to MMA or? I, I would love to go into professional boxing after this. You know? After this? Uh, I would love to try this. Like, why not? You know, I love the sport of boxing. I've been training with a lot of really, really high-level professional boxers lately. Uh, I, I would love to go there. You know, maybe I could engrave Amir Khan's glass job. <laughs> do, you, do you have a weight class in mind for boxing? 147 probably, but to be honest, I don't care. Whatever, you know, I can go up and down. And in MMA, I fought, you know, from 145 all the way to 170. So, you know, the options are there for me. Money talks. Is your heart still wanting to do MMA? Oh uh, yeah, I want to. I love fighting anything, bare knuckle, MMA, boxing. I just love to compete and I love to fight. You know, if the right offer comes, then of course I will be going to MMA. What's harder? Uh, I mean, all are hard in, in its own way, but I think the training camp I found for MMA was a lot harder just on the body, you know, you're all sore all over the body, you know, it's, I found it a bit harder, but to be honest, all of them are really, really hard, you know, it's hard to train, you, know, you have to train, you have to be living in the gym, and that's, and that's not easy. Anything different from sparring? Like, from the difference between MMA sparring and boxing sparring? And bare knuckle? Yeah, I mean, for sparring, yeah, it's, uh, I've been kind of boxing uh, more than anything. Of course, uh, you know, you have to uh, account for the glove size. But I, I have my experience from MMA, and MMA gloves are basically like bare knuckles. So, so, you know, you have to work around it, but it's been good, you know. The main thing for me when I spar is to have competitive sparring, you know. I don't want it easy. You know, if I spar somebody and it's too easy, I don't want to spar that person no more because I'm not growing. I want to be getting my ass whooped because that's the only way to do it. If you're not getting your ass whooped in training, you will sure get your ass whooped in fighting. How did you prep for this fight? that are you know, a little slick, do a lot of the Philly shot movement for sparring? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm due to spar actually. Uh, uh, John, John Evan uh, I was kind enough to reach out, you know, for me some sparring. You know, he's an Olympic medalist. He's a pro at the moment. Well, but now, you know, he's smaller, he's faster. You know, he will give me that, you know, boxing speed, boxing movement. So, yeah, I, I look forward. I have uh, plenty of guys to spar. You know, that's one thing, uh, one good thing about doing boxing in Ireland. There's no shortage of incredible uh, sparring practice. What do you make of that style in general? What do you make of it in there now? Uh, like, well, his style doesn't suit Bernacle at all. You know, that point kind of style. Like, he never put guys away. You know, his thing is points, points, points. And, and you can't do that, especially when your hands are very fragile. You know, there's hard to hide behind anything. You know, it's hard to run away. Clinches are loud, so the ref is not just going to split you up. You know, if you go and hug somebody like this, a guy that knows the tight clinch, a guy that knows a wrestling clinch like I do, you know, uh, he's going to be in trouble. You know, my, my tight clinch might be amateurish versus a tight fighter. My wrestling clinch may be amateurish versus a wrestler, but I am an expert versus this guy who's never wrestled, has never you know been in a tight fight. I'm an expert there, and I'm looking forward to using my advantages. How did you train for this fight? I, you know, if you want, like I always say, if you want to be a good dancer, you have to dance a lot, and if you want to be a good fighter, you have to fight a lot. So I want to be a good fighter. That's how I train. I fight, I fight, and then I fight some more. Were you there when McGregor sparred with Malinaji? What can you tell us about that session? Uh, Malinaji got his ass whooped. And that's it. He got dropped. His face was red. That's it. There's, I've talked about it a million times. There's very little to say. He offered no offense. Didn't land anything. Crap. Malinaji claimed that the video was edited to favor McGregor. Uh, so what, what's your reaction to that? What do you have to say about that? To what, sorry? Uh, Malinaji said that the video was edited to favor McGregor. So he's basically saying... Man, it was it's going to be some fucking edit job. Like it was, it was the last version I've seen released was very, very long. You know what I mean? So you, even even just to go by that, you can see what was happening in there. You can see after the spar, Conor's face didn't lie. There's not a mark on him and Malinaji's face was all red. So, you know what I mean? Was that photoshopped? What was he going to say now? No. Is there a boxer besides Malinaji that you would like out there? I know you mentioned Amir Khan briefly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're gonna really, you know, keep dreaming, you know, why not? You know, like the Mexicans have always been known as, you know, the toughest boxers, you know, in the sport. They've got that, you know, heart, the, the mentality. It would be dream come true to face, you know, any one of them. You know, what I mean, of course, I have to make my way into boxing first, break into and see. But a good maybe a start fight with someone like Ryan Garcia. You know, why not? He's only up and coming. You know, he he needs the publicity. He needs, you know. Uh, kind of the bigger step but not quite you know there to take on the best of the best just yet so that could be a good fight why not you know I'm open for uh, offers and you know, I'm open for any challenge you know, I'm here to fight I'm here to prove myself and there's only one way you can earn a boxer's respect that's in the ring so I'm here to do that what have been some of the, like, the nuances you've noticed with bare knuckle compared to the other combat